everyone. Today I want to show you how to get some fur down on your furry animals. And I have this dog here and I am using a nice, it's a new eraser with a, with a chiseled edge there. And I love these handheld pencil sharpeners for very sharp pencils. I'm going to have a blending stump. I got a 6B pencil, 3B pencil, and a regular pencil. So first thing I want to do is start out, I want to get the ground shade on my animal. So I'm just going to go into this area a little bit and I'm using my, my 3B pencil to start. So I do want to, I do want to get some of this fur that is actually a little shorter in here also with you. So I'm just going to get a little bit of a ground down. What I mean by that is just a value down first. And then I'm going to very lightly, I'll put some of the direction of how this fur goes here. And I'm going to make this a ground also. So this is going to be a little lighter over here. You can use your regular number two pencil with this as well. But I'm just getting this area just, just so you can see the difference and you can practice with me. Okay. Using my blending stump, I'm going to go in and just blend all of this. Like I said, I want a ground. I want it to be, I don't want it to be white in my background because I am not going to be able to use my eraser to draw with if it's white in the background. I want to be able to use my eraser to draw with. So keep in the direction of the fur. And get it as smooth as possible. this I'm going to do a lot of erasing. So if your eraser does not have a good chiseled edge, and what I mean by that is like it's not a good wedge, it's good sometimes to actually use a razor and cut it and get a nice chiseled edge on your eraser. All right, maybe a little tiny bit more. I'll use my just number two pencil to do this. Okay, so that's going to be this area right in here. We can kind of go up to where the dog's eye is maybe later. Because I, I always want to do more. But this is just a little study of fur. So let's just do this. Okay. Now, in the dark area... I'm going to use my 6B pencil and I'm really going to look at the direction of the fur and put in some of those little areas of fur that I see. So you do have to be patient with it when you're doing fur on an animal or you're doing hair on a person. You do have to be patient with it. It doesn't come out as fast as you might think it comes out. Once in a while you get like a good stroke with your pencil and you're going to see something come out pretty good after a couple little pencil strokes, but it does take a little while to build up your value and that's what you're doing in here. So I'm concentrating on this area right in here and I'm also looking at the, that top area where my lighter brown goes into that darker brown. So that edge is not super cut. It's not like straight across. I've got some light ones that stand out and I have the dark underneath that. Pick out little sections of where you almost see like a line, okay, of that dark fur. And you can go up a little bit into it. And you know, you, you wanna make sure that your pencil is sharpened good for some of this area up here because these lines are going to be thinner. These are thicker down towards where your real dark area is. And you can see this fur goes right on top of this area right in here. So 
We're going to have to use our eraser pretty good to get that out. All right. Now that's about it for that area. I can go down into here and I can see some of that, that little triangular. This almost looks like a little triangle to me. And I'm shaping this little spot. Okay, and you know, I'm going to go in with my, um, my really sharp number two pencil in a minute. So I'm going to go against this edge and just kind of shape up the edge of where I see the tip of this fur, if that makes sense, tip of it, I don't know. The edge of the fur. Okay, now this I'm picking out, that's my lightest spot right there. Okay, and you can actually kind of put it in there first if you want to with your eraser. Or you can just go underneath it. So I'm going to go under and I'm going to kind of shape out where I'm seeing the dark area. So I'm shaping out where I'm seeing the dark area. And I still am using my 6B pencil because this is going to be really dark in this spot. Okay. And in between here. There's a nice little light area there, which I am going to get this with my eraser right now because this area right here, and I see this really light spot, and then I also see these over here. So let's go ahead and I got to put a little more ground in here. Make sure that you have a good ground down there. If it's white, it's not going to show up for you. Okay, there we go. And let's see. So I have my dark over here. And really check the shape of like how you're seeing these lines flow. You know, it's hair. So some are going to be, we've got like a shorter line here, a longer line here, and just check out like how it flows. So it doesn't look like much right now, but then let's get into our pencil, our regular pencil, and get some details towards the edges. So I'm over here and I'm going to kind of shape out my edge, the edge to this. Now this is with my number two pencil. So this is actually putting in some detail. Look how sharp that tip is. Oh, I've got a pretty sharp tip there. That's what you want to have. Okay, and I'm going to come down. And these lines are not all long lines and they're not all short lines you know they're different sizes so if you do that you're going to get more of the shape of the hair and then i'm going to have to go back in so this is how i'm just starting that build up eraser time so I'm going to find those really light areas. This is my first one. I'm going to get that one in. So let's do this little flick of fur on top of this area right here. So I'm going to take my eraser and just draw with it. Just flick it. Okay, so you want to have it, you know, in the direction of how that fur is growing. All right, and then just take it and bring it down flick okay and you don't want to overdo it but you know you're gonna go back you want to see these kind of individual lines okay a little bit more here a little far okay you're gonna have to take your eraser and just clean it off I like to just clean it on a clean piece of paper that. 
All right, and then we're gonna kind of flick some of this around too. Don't go too much with your eraser because you're gonna erase too much out. But this is how you get it to overlap with another area. A little shine might be in here, so I'm gonna take a couple little strokes down in there. And a couple in here too, just a couple. All right. Now, it is good to have a little brush or something like that, but if you don't have it, just take it and make sure that you're, you're dusting it off gently because if you go like this, it's gonna go all over the place. Okay, now I'm going back with my nice sharp number two pencil and I really wanna look at details now. So I'm going around those edges of those the white and you know, I kind of want to go light in here. This is this is this is a light area of the dog's fur, but I'm I want to go against some of that white, you know, eraser stroke that I made because that's going to make that white stand out if I give it a line right next to it. So just like how you would do whiskers, it's the same type of thing. You want the line to be kind of underlined that you made with the white, well, that you made with your eraser. All right, so I'm gonna go into here just to get this so you can see it. Okay, here's some of that, that little area there and I wanna get right underneath that white area that I made, that white line I made with my eraser. Okay, oops. And then your your first gonna start to stand out there. So I'm coming back on it um, because I want to have that almost triangular edge. What I mean by that is like when you flick, you're flicking up a little bit and it leaves it more tapered on the end of your brush. Your it's not a brush stroke, it is a pencil stroke. going because I want to get these nice little edges and it overlaps the other further you're going to keep working back and forth with your blending stump as you can blend some in just a little bit if it needs to be. Just don't keep blending. The last thing that you should be using is your sharp number two pencil and possibly using your, your um, B pencil. Let me stand out a little bit, some little fur right there. So if you can see, there's little wedgy kind of areas that right in here, do you guys see how that has almost like this triangular shape? That's what you're gonna see a lot with fur and any kind of hair really. You know, it's it, you will see these sections that kind of, they're little triangles like this. So that's gonna separate pieces of fur. It's kind of like you have to you have to decide like where the shape is, where the light shape is, and then where the dark shape is. So if you really look at it and find it, it's going to help you more. Now you can see like this looks very dull. This area down here looks very dull. And um, we, haven't, we haven't done anything to that yet. So, you know, that is kind of like, we've got this area, we've got some of that area, we've got this going on. You know, there, there could be some more detail in here with how this, this looks like it's a little thinner pieces. You know, these, these little 
pieces of fur are a little more defined. Each hair is a little more defined, you know, and you can go in and define that a little more. And, uh, you know, when you have, if you have a collar on your animal, if the collar's here and the fur goes over, this is exactly how you do it. You take your eraser and you're gonna kind of just go right over the collar, right over the edge of the collar, and it will look like the fur is going over the collar. So really think about how you need to, you know, work that space with your eraser, your blending stump, and your pencil, okay? I hope this video helps you in creating some wonderful pet drawings. Subscribe below and thanks for watching.